Guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back again. Man, make sure you subscribe and make sure you smash that like button, man. Make sure you do that. All right, so we're going to start with this. I basically spent the last few hours creating this for you guys. From now on, all my tutorials and everything that I do is going to run through this. So what is this? This is a starter kit. So pretty much what it's going to have is going to have uh, live reloading. It's going to have SAS. Uh, you're going to be able to use SAS, uh, compile CSS, uh, have prefixes. If you don't know what that is, don't worry because I'm going to be teaching you that. All you need is just basically come to this link, which is going to be at the bottom of the video, right? So at the bottom of this video, I'm going to put this link. Make sure you, you go here. Okay, GitHub JSG Modern Web Developer Starter Kit, right? Now, when you come here, you're going to download this. You're gonna click download, or if you already you're savvy with GitHub, you could just pretty much you know pull from this request, right? So download this zip, right? Then from there, you're gonna follow these steps. Like I said, download. Now from there, install Node. You click here, come here, download it, install that PKG for Windows users. All you have to do is download a, a I think it's an exec. Uh, execute file, uh, then from there, install yarn. Come here, follow this, uh, this instructions. You install that. Windows is there too, Linux, the whole shebang, right? After you install that, then you come to Atom, install Atom. Listen, I understand you guys like you to use your own um, editors, but if you're gonna follow my instructions listen to me trust me Adam is the best and at the same time you're gonna be able to download all the packages that I have all the shit that I use and make my life easier and you're gonna be able to basically follow along with all the tutorials and this is like the modern web right now man this this is what everybody's using like unless you want to be a weirdo with fucking with vim or something else then that's on you, you know what I mean? But this is what everybody's using right now, man. And I'm pretty sure this everybody's going to stick with Adam because it's just a really good uh, editor. So make sure you download that, right? Click there. Download for Mac or download for Windows, whatever you have. After that, on the root is project, pretty much. Once you download this, this folder, you unzip it, right? So now this is your, your go-to place where you're always going to start, right? You're going to start all your projects from here. So what you do is, uh, when you come here, like let's say you open up your terminal. You go like this. Uh, what was it? You basically, you take this, all right? You find out where exactly is it located. So you say, okay, this is inside uh, the username. And then inside the downloads folder and down there, right? You can either do what I do, which is I pretty much I go to the root, the root of my my computer, and basically go go like this. I go to Anthrax, and then from there I create a project, a projects folder, right? And then pretty much take this folder and just drag it in there drag it into your projects folder and then once you do that make sure you drag your projects folder you drag it here to the side so you could have a copy of it on um, you know on your favorite places right this is for Mac Windows you guys know how to use a Windows right so that's on you guys you guys on <laughs> you guys on your own I mean look it up but I only have a Mac sorry alright so now you come to your projects inside your projects you go to modern task right uh clean up clean up by kind all right now you go to the, your terminal right and then you're gonna go see the little squiggly line and that's gonna take you to your root now you click ls now you're gonna see your projects folder so cd projects now go to your cd modern task or if you left it the same way as how it says here modern web developer starter kit 
master, right? You just you basically type that here, and then from there, now what that does is it brings you inside the folder, right? Now you inside the the root folder, right? So now what you're going to do is pretty much you're going to also follow these instructions, right? After you you follow the instructions, download it, add them. Now you gotta install all the packages that I own, right? So you're gonna come here, select this, and then you paste it there and click enter, right? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna install all the packages that I own, right? After that, after you do that, then your next step is gonna be okay. Uh, well. I messed up. Before that, make sure you have Node, right? And everything works, right? So you go Node V, that's V, that gives you version. So that means Node is, Node is installed. And then you go NPM, that's V, tells you, okay, you got NPM. Let me see, Yarn, that's V. And it tells you, yeah, you have Yarn, right? So after that, then you run this. That's just to basically make sure that you have everything installed. Now, when you come here, you're gonna install the packages. Packages is pretty much your no modules, right? All the, the packages that you need is basically just code that for you to not write, you know? Somebody created those libraries and now you're using it. Right now it doesn't make too much sense, but trust me, just follow along. If I'm talking too fast or whatever, I'm trying to make this video short. If you need more explanation, leave me a comment. I will tell you more on, on what to do. And if anything, at the same time, you got to do some research. I can't do everything for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to show you all the tools and everything that you have to do. But at the same time, you got to take time and say, okay, if I can't understand this step, what's going on? Look it up on Google. It's going to show it to you. Trust me. Everybody goes through this. So then from there, you're going to come here install yarn so pretty much after you install yarn uh you install the packages all you do is just run yarn and click enter right that's gonna install all the packages for you know gulp and everything else right now to start the server all you do is npm start so what this does is it creates a virtual server for you and then at the same time now you're going to be able, oh, sorry, fucking Python. Uh, now you're going to be able to come here and, like, let's say you wanted to change this, right? Before you have to, re you know, refresh this page and do a whole bunch of shit that you don't want to do. So let's say an example. I'm going to change this to blue. You type blue, click enter, and it changes by itself. You see what I mean? That's super helpful. Let's say we want this white. Now everything changes white. Without you having to click refresh and check another page, most of the time you will work like this. You know what I mean? Like, you work like that, half and half. Right now I'm on a 13 inch laptop, which kind of sucks. But for you guys, you guys got to be on your desktop, right? So let's say I wanted to do a change here and I wanted to, you know, code something. I'll be like, it's going to say brand new code. I could go in and, and delete this and be like, okay, uh, course you got to put in the stylings so like let's say come back to your main okay this or just a reset this stuff you don't you guys don't need this uh, all right that you probably do need because it this is for text and smoothing out your your stuff so okay, let's see. Mm. All right, now let's do something else. Uh, P font size twenty pixels. Let's 
see. All right. That's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I built for you guys. This is just a starter kit so you guys could get your feet wet. And now you can play around with, you know, all the codes that, you know, I put on, on, on my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Like, instead of you having to go through the whole hassle of, like, installing packages and finding packages for yourself. Right now, you guys are just trying to learn. Like, all this extra complicated stuff is seriously the boring part. Like, you don't need that unless you know how to code. Like, you need to learn the basics. And for you to learn the basics, you need to start coding. But a lot of times, there's so many options and so many things to, you know, to get. It's like, oh, React, oh, Angular, oh, this and that. Like, it's too much shit. And then you're not focusing on what you need to do, which is just code. Don't worry about frameworks. Don't worry about what web tooling. Don't worry about uh, what fucking the new framework that's out there, whatever it is. Stop worrying about that. Just code. Get the basics in. Once you get the basics in, you could create your own framework. You don't need nobody else's framework. You know what I mean? That's the mistakes that I made. So make sure that you don't go through that shit. I'm basically giving it to you guys. I just gave you the cheat codes, man. Make sure you give me a star, man, on GitHub and like that. You could, you know, you could have this on your on your GitHub account. If you don't have one, man, this is like an industry standard. You have to create a GitHub account. You come here, GitHub.com, and create a uh, basically an account and make sure you star in my shit, man. Give me a little star. Let me shine. You know what I mean? Let let your boy shine for a second, okay? All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the. You know, click the like button, man. Smash that shit down. Show people who you got your skills from, man. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, get your started game, man. Right? You already know. It's your boy, Joe. Bow.